Okay, can I see? Okay, can I see? Aggressive, God. Oh, we're on. Oh, hi guys. Uh, so I'm here today with my good friend, Ariel, and also my makeup artist. And uh, we did a very fun- It's time for me to talk now. Okay. So we created this really pretty festival look today for you guys. Mm -hmm. And we're just really excited to show you what we did. Mm -hmm. But what do you want to call this look? We're going to call it the Unicorn Barbie- Festival look. We think that this festival season is all about fun hair, fun makeup, and yeah, I mean, just experimenting with things you may not normally do on a regular basis. Definitely. So that is what these two videos are gonna be all about. We will first be showing you how to achieve this look, and then we'll be showing you how to achieve this look. So thank you guys, and stay, stay tuned. tuned. Stay, stay tuned. Can we do it again? Because okay. I kind of messed up. I didn't. Stay, <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned. I'm gonna be taking a transition color from the Kylie Royal Peach Palette. You always want to start off with something that helps all your other colors transition. And it's so harsh when you just have one color going throughout your lid. From the same Kylie Royal Peach Palette, I'm gonna go in with Sorbet. It's the soft peachy color. I think I'm gonna do a transition of peachy pinks on her lid and then like a pop of color at the bottom. So Ariel and I have been working for a while now, I want to say. But Ariel is also a really good singer, so whenever we get together, I like to, you know, conjoin our voices. We do a lot of fun car karaoke. Sammy definitely appreciates it. She loves it. So we, we do it, it just for Sammy, because she always asks us to sing for her. We're like, fine, fine, private concert. Yeah. So. Sometimes me and Cher are really not into singing at the moment, but she's like, can you guys please, please sing, sing like the- Little Mermaid yes. soundtrack from front to back. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my, my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm a girl? A girl who has everything. everything. That was pretty good though. I felt like we were No, really that was a right? really good yeah. shade. I told you already. I think you have like really good vocals. Thank you could you. totally be like the next Beyonce. So I'm just going to take a flat shader brush. This might have a little bit of fallout, but you just want to press it onto the lid to prevent that. I'm gonna go back into the peach palette from Kylie and I'm gonna take the color Royal and I'm just gonna buff it in the crease. It's just a very like true peach tone. Kind of want to create like a sunset. When I travel, my kit becomes a mess. This is a prototype of Kylie's Valentine's Day shadow. This shade right here, I wish I knew the color, but it's like kind of like a, what would you call this, burgundy? I would say it's like a- Wine. Cranberry, like yeah, wine. Cranberry. I'm gonna mix it in with this fun, like bright pink. Just use it in the crease to bring some depth and color. You can go from your lash line straight into like this little V. The fun thing with the festival looks is that you don't really have to be the most accurate with everything. Like mm -hmm. I'm literally buffing everything. After I've created the shape, I'm buffing everything out just to create like this soft, like just faded blend. Right. So I'm gonna be using this La Mer foundation. I've dropped the pump on the back of my hand with the Beauty Blender. I just really like how the foundation itself wears on the skin. There's something very luminous about it and just like healthy. The skin looks very hydrated. So I like using something like this. I'm gonna use this illuminator from Iconic London and then I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender and just tap right over it just so that it's strategically right at the top of the cheekbone. I'm just gonna take a pencil brush, take some of the illuminator, and drag it down the bridge of her nose. Always go ahead and press it into the skin. I feel like sometimes the line is really obvious and that's not necessarily the best look. So I'm using the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in intensity number one. I do love this palette. Yeah, and I'm just gonna tap it instead of rubbing so that I don't disturb the foundation that I had applied. Okay, so tap, don't rub, so it doesn't ruin the foundation. Yes. Stay pretty close to the hairline and let the Beauty Blender drag the product down. So I'm gonna go ahead now and tap it in with the Beauty Blender. Press everything into the forehead. The more you blend, the more it actually ends up looking like skin. Okay, we're gonna go right underneath the cheekbone. And you kinda wanna create like a soft, line curving up to the cheek, just to shape the cheek. I bring it right around the hairline, not going too far in. I'm gonna go ahead and tap it in with the Beauty Blender. I'm just using the Narcissus Concealer 
in the color ginger under her eyes. At home, you're more than welcome to use your fingers. I feel like it warms up the product a little more. Your skin has this warmth that kind of breaks down the product and helps it blend better. Right in the center of the forehead, I'm gonna apply some concealer. And then I always take like a deep breath before I do this because this is the scary part, the bridge of the nose. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap that in. Remember we had brought so much darkness down onto the face. Now this is kind of bringing some symmetry and balance. And then take the small beauty blender with some powder on it, press it in. Um, the key to locking in makeup is just having like a light pressure, the powder to make sure you lock it all in. So I'm gonna be using the brush Samey Beauty and the number 5.1. Just make sure that you have a thin layer of powder so that when I'm putting like powdered bronzer on or like right. the highlighter and all of that, like you want it to kind of just glide versus getting blotchy. The key is having a very, very fluffy brush so that you're not disturbing the foundation. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking this little wedge sponge. I like pink, clearly. It's just pale yellow from Bobbi Brown and lightly layering this like line underneath her cheek to reverse contour her. And just lightly press this translucent powder there. Let it set for a minute. At the chin, you're gonna go ahead and just set lightly there as well. I'm gonna go in with the under eye. So it's called Mochi from Sugar Pill Cosmetics. I'm gonna use a small synthetic tapered brush from Morphe. Focus this at the very root of the lash line and build this color. So I'm gonna start off with a light layer. And this is fun, like this is where like all the colors start coming in together. And they mm -hmm. work so well too, cause it's very like cotton candy. So I feel like the warmth in her skin allows me to play really well with like blues. I'm gonna go ahead and take from the Royal Peach Palette, this deep blue and just tight line very close to the eye. Every look I do, I kind of create a fade. So we decided that we're just gonna like intensify the eye a little more. I'm using like a purple from a random palette. Any bright purple will do. With a cut crease, you don't wanna close off the eye so you don't like corner it. You just wanna kind of keep it open at the very end of the eye. And I'm using, I know it looks crazy, but it's a lip palette from Anastasia. And it's actually very matte and like pigmented. We're gonna apply some lashes. I'm using our Dell Double Wispies. I'm gonna be using this lip liner from NYX Sugar Glass. And I'm using Laura Mercier Bare Pink. Okay, so there you guys have it. This is our look. And yes, thank you for watching. Put in the comments below, pretty please, looks that you want to see us recreate in the future. And also, please feel free to share your inspired looks of this on Instagram, tagging both Ariel and I, because we want to see your work. Let us know how you feel about Shay's attitude, <laughs> how she's always trying to outshine me singing. 